Uh, they must have come to you and said, do Mrs. Doubtfire 2, do another one of they these. They tried. Two. I mean, they can't do it because they keep trying to write it. And at the end of the first one, she revealed her identity. It makes it really hard to go, and now that people know who you are, let's try it again. Uh, yeah, because... <laughs> can't do it as good or not better than yeah. the first one. Don't it's a tremendous film. Yeah, yeah it was fun. Amazing. I mean, I remember I, the makeup was pretty... We had to do all these makeup tests. Initially, she sounded more like Margaret Thatcher, yeah, which yeah. can be quite frightening, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to kind of soften it up, and she eventually... I took a, a, a Scottish director I'd worked with, and this English costume designer who was kind of breathy, and I made her a little bit softer. Yeah. Oh, is it, she's a sweet, wonderful woman. <laughs> yeah. Gentle. People love her. Yeah. Her, as well as you doing her. Yeah, I mean, I, I walked into a sex shop when I was dressed as her in San Francisco, picked up this huge double-headed dildo and went, do you have anything larger? <laughs> Do you have the mumbo snake? Uh, uh, some of those things they use the wire police use. Yeah, yeah what is it? It's like a truncheon with balls, really. <laughs>